Canadians have recently elected a new government. But before this new government can implement its political program, the House of Commons has to be able to resume its work. But the House cannot operate without a speaker. Therefore, the first order of business when the House reconvenes after a general election is the election of a new speaker. It is my duty to inform the House that a speaker of this House has been duly elected. Halifax West MP Jeff Reagan has been chosen by his peers to preside over the business of the House of Commons. Once elected, the Speaker has to be dragged to his new seat by the Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition, a tradition that dates back to the times when being Speaker could cost you your life. Honourable Members, I beg to return my humble acknowledgments to the House for the great honour you have been pleased to confer upon me by choosing me to be your speaker. This year, a preferential voting ballot replaced the first-past-the-post voting system that had been in place since 1986 and often required several ballots. Each member had to rank the candidates by order of preference. Mr. Reagan is the 36th person to hold this position, one of the most important and prestigious in the Canadian political system. He also is the first MP from Atlantic Canada to become Speaker in over a century. Well, it's extremely important. It's sort of like a referee in a hockey game or a referee in a football game or baseball game with umpires uh, preside over the House. Uh, the public side, you see, is the, the question period in the House that takes part every day. But the Speaker is also the chief presiding officer over all the operations of Parliament itself, heading up the, the Board of Internal Economy that is responsible for the administration of the House budget. So, so uh, therefore, that becomes one of the most senior people in, in the whole parliamentary system. The Speaker manages the Parliament buildings and the staff of the House of Commons. The Sergeant-at-Arms and security, as well as the Canadian Parliamentary Press, are under his authority. He also chairs the Board of Internal Economy, the governing body of the House of Commons. The Speaker is, is in charge of making sure that runs properly. So it's like being a, a pretty senior minister in charge of a, of a pretty big department with, with a budget that's worth several hundred million dollars. And over the course of four years, it's probably over a billion dollars. So it's extremely important. And the Speaker should be bilingual, should have a good understanding of the country. Finally, yet importantly, he is the representative and spokesperson of the House for its external affairs. He is fifth in the order of precedence of Canadian dignitaries. The first four are the Governor-General, the Prime Minister, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, and the Speaker of the Senate. The role of Speaker is one of the oldest in the British parliamentary tradition. Its creation dates back at least 600 years almost to the origins of the British parliamentary system. In addition to his parliamentary salary of $167,000, the Speaker receives a supplementary compensation amounting to just over $80,000 a year, the equivalent to the salary of a minister. The office of the Speaker is located in the central block on Parliament Hill and is also a private apartment the Speaker can use for overnight stays when necessary. He also has the use of a residence in a country estate in the Gatineau Hills, located just a few minutes from downtown Ottawa. The estate was given to Canadians by the late Prime Minister William Lyon Mackenzie King. Although the property is administered by the National Capital Commission and is accessible to visitors, the farm remains a private place made available to the Speaker. If you have an interest for public policy, procedure, law, personnel management, property management, crisis management, protocol and diplomacy, among other things, the job of Speaker of the House of Commons might be tailor-made for you. However, only 36 people have held this coveted position since Confederation.